Um, well, basically, I, I, I'm David McGrath and I'm a capacity building officer and I work with Five Voluntary Action. But in particular, what I'd like to talk about is a particular project that um, I've been doing with a number of um, a group of officers. We've had representation, <coughs> pardon me, not only from Five Voluntary Action, but from Five Council, Five Council's Third Sector Strategy Group, NHS, and at least Five. And we developed a project which is entitled Your Story, Your Community. <clears throat> the purpose of the project really is to find out as much as possible from people who live and work in Fife about their experiences of the COVID pandemic. Over the past year, people in Fife have had to save, they've had to face several challenges, you know, which the pandemic's created. Everything from lockdown to furlough, seeing loved ones or just simply going shopping. We believe everyone's has had a story to tell. So Lisa, if we're honest, well, you know, let's be honest, everyone likes to tell stories and every day we tell each other stories. So this is the basis of our Your Story, Your Community. We're asking people to tell us their story, good or bad, about their experiences of the COVID pandemic in Fife. <clears throat> it's entirely up to the person who is telling us the story to decide what they want to tell us. Stories that are submitted are done entirely anonymously. We can't identify the individual telling the story. If people so wish, they can submit more than one story. The kinds of stories up to now, Lisa, that people have been telling us about have included things like, what's it like to get a vaccine? People have told us stories about neighbours who helped each other out during lockdown. We've picked up stories about services or charities and community groups who've came to people's aid. We've had stories about how people coped with improving their mental health. People have told us about the challenge of working during lockdown, what it was like travel, social distancing, keeping everyone safe around them. But obviously, we've had stories about volunteering and how people rose to the occasion to help others out. And we've even had stories about parents and young people, how they coped with homeschooling. So if people would like to share a story with us, what do they do? It's very quick and easy to tell us your story. It's all done online and mm -hmm. questions only take a few minutes to complete. If you visit our Five Voluntary Action webpage, it's www fva.org. There's a banner on the front page entitled Your Story, Your Community. Click on the banner and it'll take you directly to the Your Story, Your Community questions. We share that link as well. That sounds good. That would be super. I mean, in the information on how you can access Your Story Community, it's also been shared on social media and you'll find us a, a QR code which, if you scan it by your phone, will take you directly to the questions. We realise not everyone will have access to computers and phones and that, but if this is the case, why not ask a friend or a relative to access your story, your community for you? It's very easy for them to do this by using a smartphone. Can I ask a quick question, David? Please ask any questions at any time, please. Yes, like some people might not, might want to like, want to be part of this, right? Sure. But could they like send, post it into you as, as well? Um, or would you prefer it online? It would be preferable online because the reason being is if somebody posts it into us, we could identify them. And we're very, very passionate about not identifying people here. We want people to be honest and to not feel that they could be identified individually. Right, so okay. we would prefer it to be done online. In an ideal world, we would have people out there talking to people in the community, but because of the COVID and social distancing, this is extremely difficult to do. Mm. You know? But, I mean, probably people will ask us as well, what, what do we do with these stories we capture then? So there's probably three points I would raise here. I think, first of all, the stories will help us understand better how communities have worked together or not during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, it'll also help us understand where services have responded well or not. There's been a lot of services out there working in our communities in Fife, and we need to find out what's went well and what hasn't. But I think perhaps more importantly for me, Stories will help communities contribute to future plans and priorities which will affect everyone's lives in Fife. So I'm hoping that these stories will help Fife move forward. And probably what's been one of the most difficult and challenging situations many of us have faced probably in our lifetimes. The Your Story, Your Community, we're going to run it until the end of April. Um, but I would naturally ask everyone to tell us your story as soon as possible. The more stories we collect, the richer the information becomes, the more we can find out. I thought maybe just to finish sort of this bit just now, I would just sort of um, give you a wee sample story that we've received from someone who completed a story. So 
My group met on a weekly basis and worked closely to coordinate our response. It was great to work with a group who worked hard, cared, and were willing to do anything to help the local community and those in need. That's just a typical example of a story that we picked up very randomly. 